Alrighty, guys. I am back. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's just go against, um, Rex here to start. We are at Major, right? Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so in between, um, episodes there, I, uh, yeah, I tried restarting my phone, and, um, uh, the issue still persists. I, I mean, well, but I checked the video. The last video looks perfectly fine, so... Yeah, yeah, I, I guess it's basically just on my end. Um, but I guess also, um, if, uh, hmm, let's play Tremendous Fire here, I guess. Well, no, no, let's play Law Book. Uh, but, yeah, I guess I'll keep an eye out for uh, future videos and stuff. Definitely use save states. Uh, I mean, I can't really use save states in this game, you know, because I'm new, doing this on my uh, on my PS2 Slim, uh, but, uh, yeah, I'll definitely, uh, hmm, I guess we can go for Quagar here, um, but, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, I'll keep, I'll try to save state before, you know, any future recordings, just to kind of, you know, until I figure out what's going on with this, but, uh, yeah, yeah, the last episode I did looked, you know, perfectly fine, holy crap, oh, he's probably dumping a bunch of, well, that's two power-ups, but, but, uh, yeah, so, you know, I guess just a fair warning, you know, in case you see anything, you know, around the same time that, uh, that's getting uploaded, um, so this got a total of 800 extra, alright, that, you know, that, uh, looks weird, uh, well, I guess you know why, it started here, so, um, huh, maybe I should play Shield and Sword just to see what this is over here. That's probably a good call. And, um... We'll just summon... <laughs> Rockman for now, right here. Okay. Yeah, I think that's, you know... Until I figure out what's going on with this, that's... That's the best I can do for now, you know? Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Cannon armor. Well... I mean, well, let's see. Yeah, no, I, I was thinking maybe I don't need to play Shield and Sword, but no, I, I kind of do, you know, just in case, because worst case scenario, that's two-headed King Rex, and I'm not sure I, I can beat it with uh, two power-ups there for Quagar, but uh, yeah, we'll end the turn. All right, Rex, what you got, my man? It is, it is two-headed King Rex, okay. And it's got how much? 2,900. Hmm. Oh, well, that certainly helps. Um, yeah, I will activate Forest. Okay. That kind of solves all my problems right there. All right, well. <laughs> yeah, good thing I found out what I'm working with here first, though, because, uh, yeah, that would not have been good. Um, yeah, he can't move twice, so I don't have to worry about him stealing my invigoration. We will end the turn there, Rex. Go ahead. Man, he's not summoning. He's just... It's just uh, King Rex and nothing else. All right. Well, uh, let's go with... The strongest card we can play right here. Summer here, still pretty hot, man. Still pretty hot. But anyway, definitely glad to, that I checked out the, uh, you know, the last episode on my computer, and everything looked fine. So you know, I'm just gonna come and take this as normal and pretend like everything's fine. I think that's the best, best thing I can do there. <laughs> All right, Quagar. All right. Uh, but yeah, as always, for Duels of the Roses, I definitely, you know, got a couple hours free on this one. Um, you know, usually I leave myself like, you know, because sometimes I'll do the, uh, you know, the turn count duels as well, the turn count wins. So I definitely usually, as always, you know, leave myself uh, ooh, two cocoons, you know, a couple hours uh, for Duels of the Roses. So... I guess I can play Rosie here, and we'll end the turn. So, uh, yeah, plan to record, like, uh, I don't know, maybe 
two or three more episodes of this tonight, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So, right. Giga Tech Wolf. Okay, that gives us something we can potentially do on this side. Uh, we'll move this back. Fuse Wolf with Dino. To make Metallic Rain. And I guess we'll attack this. I mean, 2700. Yeah, I mean, 2700's, you know, okay against Rex. Um, you know, if he powers up, he can definitely get past that. But, like, uh, his strongest monster, Bakio Raidus, you know, uh, it normally has 22. And so, you know, 2700, you're probably safe. You know, probably. So, you know, but if you get to power up, you know, that's just, you know, look at the draw, you know. Uh, I guess Megazella would have, uh, how much defense would Megazella have? No power-ups. 2,500? That's also pretty good. Uh, okay. Play the turn. Do, do, do. Huh. And he left that one in attack mode. You know, it almost makes me think this is a Brachioratus. Um, and that we're just tied. Did I draw a power-up? I did not. Hmm, this is good, though. This will boost my Sabasaurus. By how much? By 300? Not bad, not bad. Okay, so let's move here. Let's power up Sabasaurus for this turn. There we go. So now he's at 2600. That's respectable. Hmm, oh, magic card, huh? What was it? What was it? Eternal Rest. Hmm. Wait a turn. Let's see if I draw a power-up for my insects. Um, I don't really know how I'm going to approach this one. Hmm. Yeah. Or I could potentially draw a forest card, change the square to forest, and then I'm for sure we can beat it. Uh, Larva Moth. Yeah. Oh! You know, that's an option as well. Okay. So... Let's, uh, yeah, let's fuse right here. Fuse these two. Um, for... Crap, I have too many monsters. Um, well then let's get rid of you, Rockman. Okay, sorry, Rockman, gotta do it. But, uh, we're trying to... I mean, that is a few turn plan, but, like, I'm so sure... Like, dude, this has to be a Brachio Arenas. It has to be... Well, I guess it could be a magic card, too. Hmm. You know what we're going to do? We're going to test it. And the way I'm going to test it is, uh... I'm actually going to have Metal Greymon chase this guy. And if, you know, if he comes toward Metal Greymon, then, uh... Yeah, then I'm almost sure it's a, uh... It's a Rocky Arenas. That's a good plan for me. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Alternatively, maybe I have limited removal in this deck. I don't know. That could also help. Uh, I'll end the turn. What you got, buddy? Okay, no power up, that's good. Huh, yeah, he, he's just staying there. I don't know. Um, let's see. Ah, there we go. Okay. Alright, so let's move. Let's work on moving Rosie out of the way. Even if I move her twice, um, you know, it's still gonna be. So let's flip her up right here. Next turn I can move her twice, and then we can send one of these uh, cannon armors toward uh, Rex. Um, in the meantime, let's just summon this cocoon and move it this way. Um, but for now, I'm not going to move Cybersaurus in. I'm just going to hang back and uh, yeah, go ahead, Rex. Go ahead. I may be playing, like, overly cautious here, 
but I don't think I am. Yeah, and he's ending his turn quick. Maybe this is the move. Okay, so we'll move back. Rose. We will go with this cannon armor. Move it toward, and we'll end the turn. Alright. And he's not even summoning, so I think I'll keep my cocoon card in the corner, too. Just so, you know, he doesn't do anything. Um, got another rose. Okay. Um, you know what? Sure, let's move this power up toward him, too. Because why not? Okay. And then we will end the turn. Two more turns, guys. Two more turns. Let me find out what that is. Yeah, because my other plan was just, you know, yeah, transform into a great moth and just, you know, <laughs> weaken it by a hunter and go, go with that. Um, let's see. I could use for Queen of Leaves, but I definitely don't need to at this point. So, get rid of this card. Play Tremendous Fire. Man, I got some good cards on this deck, though, let me tell you. I'm definitely reincarnated for some good stuff on the save file. All right, next turn, buddy. Next turn. All right. Uh -huh. All right, let's see if I was right, guys. Well, transforming time. Yeah, just a little too late there, uh, Great Moth, but it's okay. Flip this up. There we go. What do we draw here? Uh, wow, more power-ups. Yeah, um... But, uh, I think we're just gonna move Rose back into position. Power-up number one. Alright, we'll go ahead and attack him just to make sure he doesn't run away, so... Quagar? Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought it was a Brachioritis. Yeah, hmm. Alright. Glad I trusted my instincts on that one. If it would've been a magic card, after all that time... I would have been very disappointed in myself. But, uh... <laughs> Sounds more like a donkey instead of a... Uh, Brachiosaurus, but, uh... Good job, Quagar. You earned that one, buddy. <laughs> it's so funny. We just left that for, like, you know, five or six turns. We were just kind of facing it off. Okay, now... We'll attack with Cybersaurus. Armored Blizzard, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Alright. Oh, I feel like I'm about to sneeze. Oh man, what a weird feeling. Now, we did let him, let him you know, save up some summoning stars. So, you know, he could potentially defeat, uh, you know, Metal Greymon here, but, uh, you know what, it's okay. If he does, it's okay. I'm just glad I didn't lose, like, basically my strongest monster on the field right now. Can we move this? Alright, and can't really summon anything. Can't summon any new monsters, or they'll be destroyed. Now we'll start moving the cocoon. Okay, more in the turn. Alright, what you got, Rex? Okay. And again, again, he's not powering up, so I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried. Okay. And we'll flip up uh, Ultimate Great Moth now. Move this closer. Um, I think I'll just wait here for the power up, and then we'll move on in. Uh, actually, yeah, Cyber Source, you hold your ground, buddy. You, uh, well, no, no, no. No, chase him, chase him. Chase him. Ooh, ooh, barely beat him with the Sword Armor Dragon. Wow, by 50, by, I mean, 70 points. 70. <laughs> How often do you see that? How often do you see that in you, you? Nice job, Cybersaurus. That Cyber Commander coming in clutch. Yeah, because he would have had enough defense if it wasn't for Tristan's cover, so... I just got a new a comment on a, a Dawn of Destiny video. Like a really old one, too. Uh, it says, uh, shall I read it? Sure, I'll read it. Um, it says, uh, let's see. 
It says, how can I get limiter removal by uh, Alejandro? Oh, okay, well, yeah, it's actually in the, uh, in the obelisk statue from what I remember. Uh, but yeah, I'll reply to that comment after this video. But yeah, uh, for Dawn of Destiny, yeah, to get limited removal, yep, obelisk statue is what you want, so there you go. Um, okay. 3700 Quake Art, move you in. Um, I guess, um, hmm. I guess I can move. Oh, yeah, I can put this on Great Moth. Yeah, I guess. Sure. And I guess I can move that in here. Yeah. To kind of cut him off on this side. That sounds good. And um, he's actually open to attack right here. So what am I doing? Yeah, I can just win. I can just straight up win. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not like I'm doing a turn count uh, duel or anything. No, we're just, we're just doing vanilla duels this episode. Okay. Alright. Definitely trusted my instincts on that one. Paid off. Alright, so let's go for... You played Eternal Rest, though, right? Yeah, I guess we can go for that. Uh... Oh, missed it big time, okay. Uh... Shall I try for a three in a row? Sure. Okay, okay. Um... Where's Anthrosaurus at? Where you at, buddy? There you are. Yes! Yes, we finally did it, guys. Three in a row. Oh, a piece of Exodia. Hmm. You know, that is good. I'm not sure if it's a new piece, but, you know, there are some pretty cool things I want to show, you know, before I, you know, <laughs> before we finish the ranking challenge, and uh, that's one of them, so... Yeah, and I know you can enter some codes for uh, a couple pieces of uh, Exodia, but... Uh, some of them, you do need to get a three in a row, and it is a new piece. Nice, nice. All right, so yeah, as you see here, right leg of the Forbidden One awards victory to the one who brings together all four limbs and unleashes the monster. Hmm. Speaking of that, you know, it is 15 deck costs. Let's see how many pieces we've got. I think all the pieces are 15, except for, uh, you know, except for the head. Uh, 15... Uh, wow, that's our first piece, actually. Wow. Okay, well, that's that's good. That's good. Uh, let's just switch to this deck, which is... Oh, yeah, definitely more suited for Wasteland, so... Okay, and let's just do... Uh, I think I got en enough time for another one against uh, Rex. Mm, excuse me. And then, uh, man, yeah. That feeling of ha having a sneeze, like, it's still there, man. It feels weird. Um, but yeah, I think I have enough time in this episode for one against Rex. And then, uh, yeah, maybe I'll do a turn count to start the next episode. And, uh, yeah, that way we can reincarnate. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Well, it depends. It really just depends, like, can we finish this duel in this, uh, you know, in time. Uh, let's do this. Uh, if we can, then I'll do that. But if not, you know, we'll finish this one in the next episode. Okay, go ahead, Rex, my man. Powering up. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so what power-up did he use? Vigoration? So let's just assume that's two-headed King Rex. Normally it's 21 with the boost. With Invigoration, 2400. Okay, wow. Drawing a lot of Wasteland cards here when we don't need to. Let's just do this. I think I have some cards that fuse with Dancing Elf. Um, so we'll keep it there. In the turn. So 2400 is what I'm going to assume that card's at. Draw my best cards here. Um, let's dump the clown and play Fiend Castle. Yeah. Okay, Rex. Okay. You got a pretty good start. I mean, mainly because I'm getting, you know, not the best draw, but, uh, hmm. Let's see. Waiting to kind of draw some of my zombie cards. Ah. 
you've activated my shuttle lies. Sparky! Wow, I drew all three Wasteland. Well, I mean, he did power this card up, so maybe I should play this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, normally I'd want to draw Wasteland. We're up against, like, uh, you know, uh, well, any anyone besides, you know, Rex or uh, Man of Keith, I guess. But uh, it was two ahead of King Rex. Okay. Well, Gemini Elf, I think you're strong enough to take that on now. Outside, huh? Yeah, 1600. Okay. Uh, hmm. Ooh, that's even better. You know what? Maybe I should save this for this side. Yeah. If he's coming in. Um, that's actually probably a good call. Alright, Gemini Elf, you do it. Attack the two headed King Rex. Have we seen the sponsor attack yet? I don't think so, but, uh, it's pretty cool, though. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Alright. And I'm gonna grab a drink while this plays here. or anything for Gemini Elf, but, uh, well, let's see, the Anthrosaurus, all right, well, hey, you did help me, buddy, you, you, you just helped me get a three in a row, so I don't mind seeing you, uh, you know, and maybe in order to try to get this in for this episode, uh, maybe I will cut out battles here, maybe, then again, I am about to play Summon Skull, I don't think we've seen an attack on our side, so... Maybe I'll cut out battles after that. Yeah, you gotta show the cool monsters attacking for me. Oh man, Anthosaurus, he don't skip leg day. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Alright, so let's just do as planned. Let's move. Well, let's check what I've got. Uh, King of Yami Makai. Anyway, I'll fuse this with this to make, just like Panic did, against us, someone skull. All right, and I'll power it up. All right, and now go my summon skull. Lightning strike. It's, yeah, it's got the classic artwork. I think there's actually, uh, believe it or not, there's multiple artworks for summon skull this game like if you get a three in a row it has a different art <laughs> and actually it's one we didn't get for like until like 2016 if you can believe it or not it was like in one of the uh, mega packs it's crazy it's crazy anyway. playing some of Yugi's cards this episode. Yeah. Well, I don't think Gemini Elf's actually a Yugi card, um, but it was in one of his uh, starter decks, I think. So. Yeah. Summon Skull. Nice. Uh, like I said, I guess we'll move this in. You know. I don't have any power-ups for it or anything, so Gemini Elf's just kind of a standard, you know, pretty good card. Oh, he's backing off, so good decision, I guess. King, there we go. Okay. Alright, so let's move in Summon Skull. Uh, 
I mean, he's playing cards kind of on the left side, but uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fuse this and Dragon Zombie with a little bit of power up, and huzzah! Great Mammoth of Gold Fine, alright. And we'll just kind of move this in here to back up Gemini Elf. Uh, actually, Gemini Elf... Switch to defense mode for a turn. Let's see if he summons something and attacks it. Uh, and then we'll go from there. And yeah, let's abbreviate battles for now. Ah, taking the bait, huh? Ah. Anyway, now my Gemini Elf can move forward. We'll move forward. Summon Skull, move forward. And let's see here. Throw down a little pumpkin. Let's do it. I summon Pumpkin, the king of ghosts. There we go. And I will end my turn, my man Rex. What you gonna do about that? He hasn't summoned in a while. And he's still not summoning. Wow. Um, well, you know, <laughs> I guess if he's not gonna do anything, I'm not gonna press him with Gemini Elf. I'm just gonna run Summon Skull in here, and then I'll move Gemini Elf to try to cut him off, I guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's just, uh, play this here. And end the turn, I think. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, he's still not. He just, he refuses to summon. Okay. Not too sure that's the best decision, pal, but, uh... Alright. Go ahead, summon Skull. And... Yeah, like I said, we basically got him kind of cornered off here. Um... So... Yeah. Um... I guess I could play another... Graveyard, our great mammoth of gold fine. Yeah. Nice. Alright, well. Your move, Rex, your move. Still not summoning, bro. This guy, he's just he's he's giving up. He's giving up. He's just he's handing us the win. Like, I've never seen this before. What? <laughs> like, what are you doing? Like, yeah, now you can't summon even if you wanted to, bro. It's it's over. It's over. Gemini Elf, attack this man. Jeez. Alright, well, this is one of the easiest wins I've ever gotten. I guess I'll flip this up for the experience, but, uh, yeah, wow. He, he literally, he literally did nothing. He just, he just sat there while I stormed in on him. Brett's. Never seen you do that, buddy. That, that is an odd one. You know, you know, I've gotten some turn count wins on this guy before, obviously, but you know, most of the time he at least runs into like a different column, you know what I mean? And then uh yeah, but uh man, that was weird. That was really weird. Anyway, let's try for three in a row, I guess. Uh Okay, Tomozoris, you're up. We have a shot. Um, dang it. I was a little too... I, I even felt it. I was like, man, I pressed it a little too fast, sir. I pressed it a little too fast. Okay, but uh, looks like we got this all in in one episode. So, uh, yeah. Going to end things here, guys. Um, but, yeah, in between episodes, I expect I'll... I'll probably do a turn count against either Rex or, like, Ben and Keith or something. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just... Uh, that way we'll have uh, 120 total duels next time, and we'll go for a reincarnation. So, uh, sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to you guys. Sounds good. All right. But yeah, pretty cool episode. We got a piece of Exodia, so. All right. Definitely uh, something I want to show before, yeah, for the LP ends. But uh, yeah, thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you all next time. Good day.